this is Morgan with U.S. Launch Report and Veterans Space Report. Thanks for tuning in to SpaceX CRS-20. This is SpaceX's final Dragon resupply mission. For the first time since 2019, CRS-20 will land at Landing Zone 1. If you haven't already, go to our YouTube channel and find our video about Landing Zone 1. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. I have a question. Can you talk about the, the, the Dragon 2 cargo version since that's coming up next? Talk about the production and the testing and manufacture of that. When, when is it going to be ready and how many reflights will that be capable of? Good question. Thank you. Uh, so Car Cargo Dragon 2 and True Dragon is, is um, very similar. The Cargo Dragon doesn't have certain parts like the uh, escape system and the uh, Super Draco is basically not on the Cargo Dragon. Um, let's see, it has a smaller um, Eclipse or life support system inside. And it also does not have the panels that uh, you know are the the astronaut. Obviously, it doesn't have the seats either. Um, so, so all these parts are not in Cargo Dragon, uh, and that makes Cargo Dragon a little bit bigger than the uh, current Dragon One, about 20% more more volume at the same um, up mass um, that we currently have. Um, let's see, we are we are in the process of, process of building it right now. Um, I believe we are shooting for a, a, a fall launch um, on, on Cargo Dragon 2. And um, let's see, I think I answered your question, right? With that. How many are you building? I don't know that. But your other question was how many times uh, can we fly it, right? And um, I believe we, are, we, are design, we designed it for five times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Copy DM, Dragon five events that will be happening in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, or as you'll see in the event tracker on the bottom of your screen, Miko. Uh, then stage separation, second engine start, or SES-1, followed by a boost back burn of the first stage and Dragon nose cone deploy. Main engine cutoff, or Miko, is where all nine M1D engines on first stage will shut down. This is immediately followed by stage separation, where the first and second stages will separate. A few seconds later, MVAC, or the M Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and begin to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit. So again, Miko, stage up, SES-1, all happening in quick succession. Let's tune in. Stage separation. And there on the right hand side of your screen, and by the cheers and the crowd behind me, we have visual confirmation of second engine start as that warm glow begins to build around the back nozzle. On the left hand 
inside of your screen, we have an amazing visual of the first stage as it is performing its boost back burn. 30 seconds from entry burn. Okay, I'll look at stage as it is performing its boost back burn. Stage one landing like deployed. 